Hello, our wonderful viewers. My name is Nathan Matov here at Kisa Projects. Kisa Projects is a home for entrepreneurs located in Koma Mboga Okumukaga along Gaza Road. However, basically today I'm here to take you through the art of bookbinding. The art of bookbinding is an ancient craft, but actually it's not very difficult to do. With almost less practice from qualified personnel, you can really get away some result. If you want to look out for fun craft projects that have got a good margin return on investment or quick ways of making nice presents and gifts, then this could be the project for you. Let's get started with the requirements we shall need to get started in the art of bookbinding. I remain Nathan Matov. Keep your eyes on your screen. We love you. Let's take a step into starting our craft work. So our book has now dried. The guru that we spread on the entire book is now dried up. So now it is time to trim it to give it a perfect finish. This is the spine. You see the spine looks very nice. This is the other part of the book. It's not that nice, but we are going to trim it using a book cutting guillotine trying to give it a perfect, perfect finish. These are also the other sides and also this side here. The other part of the book. So time to trim it. So now I power, I'm going to power the book cutting video time. This is the power button. Look at this. When I press the button here, it is now powered on. After powering the book cutting video time, I have to pull this cutting blade up because now it is seated on the base of the machine. So I will press the cut button and the reset button to take it up or I can press the two cut buttons to bring it up. Doesn't work and I press cut and reset doesn't work so I, let, me, let me just press the two cut button. So still doesn't work probably it's because I have something on top of the machine here. So let me first remove the book. Then set then I bring it up perfect those ones are not needed this is the book I'm going to trim so I put here my book so I'm going to press I want to extend it the other end so I'll press the FF button for it to extend the other end I'll use this tool to help me push the book as I'm pressing the FF button until when it reaches the extent I want it to be. Let me see. Still I push. Let me see. I think I need it more. Let me continue a little bit. Still a little bit. However, if you are starting with the, the dimensions of the book, you can just set them into the machine. Then you just push the book and start the cutting. But for me, I'm not, I'm not certain with the dimensions of the book that I want to cut. Let me press reset again to see this red line where the book will be cut from. I think I can cut it from that end. Yeah. Probably I can cut it from that end. So this line shows the point where the cutting blade is going to be cutting from. can bring it a little bit closer. There, I can cut from that end. So now I'm going to press the two cut button and I do the cutting to cut the book or to trim. The book. Am I not overcutting it? Let me extend it back a little bit. Extend it back a little bit. Reset. I think I can cut. Let me extend back a little bit. I think I can cut from that end. Then I press the reset button. When it gives light here, then I start the cutting. I press the two cut button. So perfect. After cutting, let's first remove this. This is what you have cut off. Put it aside here. So I press the F R button because I want to bring them this side. Bring the book this side. See the fine edges. So now I'm going to turn it this the other side side so that I cut off also this point. Like this. Yeah, so I press FF and I push FF. 
and I push F F I push F F push F F as I'm pushing so I press the reset button to see where I'll cut from this is not good for me let me bring it closer how is there want it be overcutting it Let me press <laughs> FF a little bit when I push. How is there? Let me see. Let me just resize it. Want it to be in the straight line. See that red line is showing me the point where the blade will be cutting from. Let me see closely. So let me cut from there. Let me press the reset button again. Then I cut. I press the two cut buttons. Perfect. So I also remove this. After cutting off that end, let us push by pressing the FR to see. Wow. Smart edges, even at this point. So now we are remaining with just this area. So we are going to trim off this area. So still I press F R as I'm pushing. Let me see. Then press the reset button. See that red point? So it means that I will be overcutting the book. Let me bring it by pressing F R. Bring it back. Hopefully there. No. Extend it a little bit inside. Extend a little bit inside. Think this one will be enough for me to cut. From there, however, let me just change the book. This way, like this. Let me change it to this point, like this. So I cut off that area. So I press the reset button, then I press the two cut buttons to do the cutting. Perfect. So, remove these ones. So it has pull out our book by pressing the FR button. And the magic is now done. Oh yes, we are done. This is our book. You see the perfection. It is so perfect. Look at the spine. The spine is so accurate. Look at these endings. So, thank you for being part of the Kesa projects. This is always what we get when you train with us. Remember your home for entrepreneurs. Let me just give you close shots of this book so that you can see the perfect ending of the book after binding it perfectly well and cutting it with our book cutting Valentine. Keep watching. So look at the spine. Look at the front part of the book. See the back and the spine of the back. See these edges, the fineness. When you open it inside, look at the inside of the book. It can open easily and can lay flat once opened. Look at the fineness, look at the neatness. perfectly bind by the Kisa projects.